Hello everybody and welcome to another Cybernetics TV production. I'm your host Insane Rabbi. Joining me today is Nasa of the XTV, both staff and competitive Han team. Nasa, how are you doing today, boss? I'm doing great. You're just happy that this isn't Zerg vs. Terran with a 5 Rax Reaper opening? Huh, huh? It might hurt my head a little bit. I'm tired <laughs> of seeing all that. On camera is our newest semi-staff member, volunteer kind of person, Ichi. Uh, I don't think you guys can hear him, but he's here. He's on camera, so thank him for coming out doing some work for us. We are a little behind schedule. Sorry on this uh, on the live cast, guys. For those of you tuning in, we know we're a little later than expected. So let's hurry up. Let's get this thing going. We uh, are five seconds in the replay. Gosu Cup Finals, the NVIDIA Gosu Cup Finals. Because everyone was in ESL Germany, uh, the, IEM fi or the IEM tournament, not the two biggest names in the finals here. Uh, it's going to be Insolence versus Adel Scott, both top uh, European players, I believe. But I actually know very little to nothing about both of them. Uh, just in general, I don't know anything about their play style. Nas, I don't think you've heard about of these guys either. So play it out, see how it is. Hopefully get some interesting strategies from uh, some lesser known players. See if they can inspire us in the PvP matchup. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead. Let's get this replay started in 3, 2, 1, go! And we're off. So, we do have Adel Scott spawning in the, what is that, about 2 o'clock position as the orange Protoss. We have Insolence as the red Protoss spawning at 6 o'clock. Close spawning positions, they're probably going to scout each other. Uh, score against TT1, he was asking. The actual matches, I what I did here is uh, the TT1 versus Adel Scott games were fantastic. Um... I, I didn't get a chance to see them. Haven't got a hold of the replays yes, yet. Yes, he's even saying they're really close. We'll take a look at that when we get the chance. We are going to see pylons dropping for both players here. Um, Maybe not. Adol's got a liking to go with 10 pylon. I was under the assumption you do it at 9, but it looks as though Red did the same thing here. Um, hmm. Well, we'll see if that continues the way through. I've always built my pylon at 9, stalled a little bit on pro production, and then go, but... Maybe that is inefficient. Nasa, anything to comment, sir? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think Red actually did this a little earlier, and that is a really early scout here. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, it does look as though Insolence did elect to scout uh, after Pylon as opposed to after Gateway. Both are viable. Uh, I'd say on four-player maps, I personally prefer to scout after Pylon. You know, that way you know you're going to get up your, your opponent's ramp. That Zealot's not going to come out by the time you reach the third base uh, in case you have to scout them last. So you're going to be able to at least make sure nothing too tricky is going on. No three-gate opening, you know, OMG type thing. Now, notice Adel Scott here realizing the quick scout means Red, uh, his opponent, Insolence, has to be close. So both players like to go with the, the opening two-gate as opposed to gate core. Um... That, that is kind of User joined your channel. Insolence, and it looks as though somebody's joining our channel during the cast. Snoopy! Uh-oh. Our other cameraman, we are cheating on you, sir, with Ichi. He is doing a cast with us right now. Um, as we were saying, or as I was saying, though, proxy or close close proximity positions, very close to each other. Um, you're going to open two gate zealots nine times out of ten. And look at this. Look at this probe doing some harass over here. Insolence. You know, going going after the enemy probes, not going to do a whole lot of damage, though. But we are going to see Zealots kind of, you know, the go ahead, Nasa. I was say, still haven't seen any gas yet, so, I mean, no cores coming out anytime soon. Oh, there's a gas. Yep. Uh, looks as though Adolescence, or Adels Adolescence, wow. Oh, man, I'm, I'm out of it today, I guess. Uh, we do have gas going out for Adel Scott. So he's looking to tech relatively soon. Probably going to pump out five to seven zealots. Whereas uh, Insolence over here just massing and massing and massing. And I'm actually trying to see where the chrono boosts have gone. I don't think either player has chrono boosted zealots. Um, ha oh, wow. That is a third gateway before core. So Insolence looking to end this one early. Three gate zealots. We do see the seven next core going down for Adel Scott now. If he can chrono boost out of these two gateways, I think he'll be okay. But other than that, in these close positions, oh wow! Did Adel Scott scout see the bottom gateway? Did you see that, Nasa? I completely missed that. Did not see it. Bummer. Um, if he does see the three gate, you're probably going to see a third gateway going down very shortly here, and chrono boost zealots coming out. We do have the zealot micro going on. Adel Scott pulling a weak zealot back. Good job by him. Great micro at this ramp. Um. He needs to pull that weak zealot back, though, 
And it does look as though Insolent's coming back in, picking off that weak Zealot. He's trying to get a good concave of Zealots here, but it's not going to be worth a whole lot. Insolent's great micro here on the ramp, pulling some weak Zealots back. Good job by Adelscott as well. And it does look as though he's trying to hold that ramp. Adelscott's keeping his Zealots alive as long as possible. Actually had a one Zealot disadvantage there, it looked like. And he did come out ahead, but Insolent's just reinforcing so fast. Chrono boosting Zealots and Stalkers now is Ad Adelscott. So he should be all right. Now with the ramp busted, it looks as though Insolent has to be pretty happy about that. But with this Stalker coming out, how's that going to play out? I mean, there's no force fields to trap anything. It's just pure Zealots versus uh, Stalker Zealot army. Sure, there might be a little less. And we do have actually a pro being pulled by Adelscott. He's got to be careful. There, he's actually pulling his Zealots back. Insolence needs to get more Zealots in his opponent's base as soon as possible. Otherwise, this tech advantage from Adelscott is just going to start doing work. And the Zealots engaging now for Adelscott while the Stalker was uh, back kiting all these other Zealots. Insolence losing a lot of Zealots here. Actually, he's going to lose all four Zealots, and it looks as though Adelscott only losing two of his, um, although another one is sitting at 7 HP, and it looks as though Insolence is falling quite a bit behind here, this three-gate strategy, although I thought it would be pretty uh, good. Actually going four-gate Zealots now, trying to just outpower um, his opponent Adelscott. I don't know how it's going to work. Those Stalkers are out just taking pop shots at Insolence's Zealots, and this is not looking good for Insolence. He actually reinforces with about four other Zealots, so it is a six Zealot to four Zealot versus one Stalker, but... Uh, battle right now but two more stalkers coming out and a robotics facility i don't know about that robo f the robotics facility we do have three stalkers as long as he holds his ramp here i think this game's pretty much over and he should be able to um insolence trying to bust up though not really microing too hard just trying to power in and look at this adelscott stalker zealot combo just too strong it looks as though a zealot for insolence is going towards the probe line over here or of, of adelscott he's gonna be doing some work no he actually tries to Run it away, maybe try and kill these stalkers. Two more zealots coming in. Uh oh, Adelscott not with a, you know not keeping his stalkers alive. He only has two out of the original three he had up, and he's actually kind of oh I take it back. I thought he was going to put himself into a wall there, but it looks as though that's not the case. Um, and insolence just losing zealots after zealots after zealots there. Actually, he comes in. He's doing work on this stalker. The last stalker does get trapped. Insolence may end up pulling this one out. Adelscott kind of subpar on the micro here. Warp Prism coming out. I don't understand the point of that. Uh, and just an uh, unbelievable amount of Zealots coming in. And two more gateways going down for Adelscott. But is it too little too late? I mean, you got to be careful here. Maybe even try and build a wall where your Stalkers are just inside your Econ line. And look at this. Probes having to be pulled. Trying to come out against Insolence's uh, Zealots. This is absurd. Losing lots of Probes here is Adelscott. Although now it looks as though the Zealot force has been dwindled to... Uh, quite a small amount we do have chrono boost going on uh two gateway pumping zealots versus four gateways pumping zealots nice rally point there by insolence he's got two zealots sitting in his main uh warp prism coming out and here we go uh may i allude to the zeppelin micro we used to see in warcraft 3 way back in the day great job there using the warp prism that was so actually smart i didn't quite see what was going to happen there but using the zealots blocking um one of the entrances over on the left side of the nexus Keeping his stalkers in the middle and putting zealots to the left and the right at the nexus and at the other choke point by the econ line, making it basically so the zealots of insolence cannot get in there. Wow, unbelievable. Nasa, anything to say on that? Yeah, you know, when I saw the warp prison coming on, I was assuming he's got no stalker attack, no anti air, so it'd be good for microing, and now that he's got the warp gate. Um, I don't really see how Adelscott could lose this game as long as he doesn't make any major blunders with micro. Right, and we do see about six stalkers out now against about five or six elts for insolence. So this is just not looking good for insolence. Uh, for a while there, it looked like he may he might have been able to turn it around, even with um, Adelscott having an advance of uh, of tech. But right now, it just seems too little, too late. Critical mass of stalkers. GG, well played. Insolence typing out in game one. Um, Adelscott taking it down. I believe this is a best of five. I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, I will double check. But right now, uh, Adelscott taking game one. Great defense. Uh, you know, I think both players played pretty well. But in the end, it just that early game aggression just wasn't enough from Insolence. Didn't capitalize and didn't keep the stock count down. I think if he would have waited a little bit longer till his third gate was actually useful, he attacked a little bit too early, I think. Right when the first stalker was coming out, when I think would have been a better time to attack. And just was never able to do enough damage. And if you look at probe count, I mean... Orange is sitting on seven extra probes. He's got gas, too. It's just that game was over, you know, when he wasn't able to cause enough damage with the three gate. Right. All right. Well, on to game two. I am excited. So stay tuned. We'll have it for you in just a bit. 